what are the fun things to do in Texas? Okay, I know that um, Texas is a big state. Um, Ivan, you've been there for longer. Have you had any uh, trips or done any fun things in the state itself um, that you can share with us? Oh, fun things, I would say. I mean, it, it, it's not like as fun as other states. Okay. In, in other states, it's green. In Texas, it's, it's dry. It's like a desert. So uh -huh. mostly... Um, uh, you, you'll have fun with the establishments, like um, you play, uh, go to restaurants, you go and play bowling, you go play basketball. Uh, there are plenty of, since we're not near the beach, so uh, people usually would go to, to lakes. Mm -hmm. so, um, so they would swim in lakes, um, they would like uh, ride the pontoon boats, speed boats, jet skis. So, so those are the things that are usually... Um, done in texas when during during your off days but if you have like longer days off then event usually in, in the united states then you just take uh, one week off and we go to other states like we go to california we go to oklahoma neighboring city arkansas and east coast so that's that's the good thing here in the united states so and also the airfare is cheap so i think that, that that's it so what so what is what was your favorite place to visit in the United States so far? I mean, we, we, like we've visited a lot of states where we're trying to, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it's our, if it is our goal to visit all, all 51 states, mm -hmm. but, but so far we, we visited the, um, most probably the most visited states. Like we've been to California, to, um, we've been to Northern California, we've been to Southern California mm -hmm. and we've been to Florida. So we've been able to compare both beaches, the Pacific and the Atlantic beaches. Uh -huh. And we've been to Florida, we've roamed around Florida, we've been to Orlando, we've been to Miami, we've been to um, uh, Clearwater, we've been to Destin, Pensacola, so, and I've uh, been to New York. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure yet what, what are the other things that we're gonna probably target to go. So um, probably uh, South Dakota, so for Mount Rushmore and I think like I, it, it depends on what what you would like to do, like uh, Filipinos and uh, um, what do they want? Do you just usually want to roam around, like roam around the bigger cities? So yeah. The city series, United States is so big. It's so don't... big and so much to see. You just don't get used to it. Like the city series are so big in 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 area that it looks like a ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> just like just it's big so i mean we're from the we're, we're from the philippines there's like hundreds of millions of philippines and our place is small when we go to the city it's congested uh -huh. you see a lot yeah. of people and like here uh, we, you go to you go to um dallas mm -hmm. you don't see a lot of people i think the only comparable city to the philippines is new york mm -hmm. Lo los angeles san francisco could even be like a ghost town for us in the Philippines then. But but it's nice, yeah, it's nice. I mean uh, the, but you really need to have a vehicle to roam around the, the country then and we're we're enjoying it so far. Yeah. No, it's funny that you say that, Ivan, because as you're talking, I'm thinking, I you know, I was an immigrant myself. I came to the United States twenty one years ago mm -hmm. from South Africa. And my father, when he used to come here, he always used to say, We're the people. We're the people. I don't see the people in <laughs> the cities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's what my parents and my my in-laws because both of them come here every now and then and they get bored because they don't see a lot of people like the philippines yeah. you go out you go outside of your house talk to the neighbor uh -huh. so here but, but they are like pros and cons but definitely i mean we are enjoying our stay here in the united states yeah absolutely and char what about you where have you visited in texas or in the surrounding states that you are fun and i think we have some pictures of some of your your trips both of you <laughs> yeah um actually i've been to like um also florida chicago new york and also like we we roam around like they're in niagara falls like that so so far um what i'm liking here though in texas um the place that i've been to is like there in downtown dallas we went to the uh it's like more of food tripping really because mm -hmm. Uh, back when I started my American dream, it's like it's away from like Asian markets, um, like Jollibee, like what Ivan is saying, because we're a little bit like 
deprived about that because mm-hmm. I have to travel like two hours away from my location back there. But here it's just like what I've said, nine minutes, 10 minutes away. So the, the, the place that I love in here in Texas where I visited it is um, the museum in downtown Dallas. Uh, it's like more of, the, more of their culture, like all the paintings as well. And then some sculptures like that. Cause I, lo- I love art as well. I appreciate it. So probably those people who wanted like arts thingy, you can mm-hmm. like go to Dallas. There's a lot of like museum there. And also they also have, if you're more into like um, theme parks like that, there's one here in Arlington. It's the Six Flags over Texas. It's like 45 minutes away from here. So if you're into like roller coaster rides, you will enjoy it in there. And also here in Plano, we have a hot hot air balloon festival, but it'll be on like, the next stop will be like next year, September 2022. So yeah, that's also an interesting thing to check it out here in our place, like the balloon festival, because they have like fun run, balloon, uh, hot air balloon festival, and then um, like more of like eating outside, like outdoors like that. Okay, so that's very interesting. And I'm sure that Joshua from Kenya and Ellie from Mexico are interested to hear things about Texas, because as I said, many nurses hear the name Texas, but a lot of people don't know much about it. And that's where our show Onwards and Upwards, where we showcase every month a different place of the United States, you can learn so much about what it's really like to live and work in in a specific state. 